Okay, I'm going to show you a quick example of setting up a new cabinet uh, drawing and laying out the physical aspects of the panel. So we'll start by just right clicking on the cabinets and going to new and clicking OK to create the new page. We now have a new page and in fact this is scaled 1 to 10. We can check by right clicking, going to page properties and notice that the scale and the symbol scaling are set to 10. If you want to change these we could change these and then we could save this as a new page template so that in future we have a different scale. Once you have this, um, because we're now in a cabinet drawing and we have a list of cabinet commands, we can actually place in our cabinet. So we could select a symbol either from the cabinet drawing or we could insert a DWG file and that could give us the starting point. If we don't have the right cabinet symbol, we could just go straight to the cabinet panel, click for a start point and as we move the cursor we can then hit space on the keyboard. We can now type in the exact dimension. So we could say this is actually maybe um, 1200 high by 800 wide. Click on OK and that's about the same size as that Ritol cabinet that we selected. Each of these is an actual symbol so if I double click I can see it has an ID and would appear in the bill of materials. Once I have my panel symbol, either one of these two will do, I can go into cabinets and rail and I could start drawing some DIN rail in there. I could either choose fixed lengths or go to set points and start drawing and say I want it between these two points. Click on insert rail and then you can insert the DIN rail going down there if you want to. <coughs> you can also insert cableways just as easily. You can set a width if you want to change that. Set points and you can put in points. Remember if you're on a 1 to 10 scale a grid of 5 now is representing 50 millimeters. So if I change that right down to say 1 then I've got 10 millimeters for each one and I can just start assigning my cable or wireways. Insert channel and I can place those on there fairly accurately. Uh, if I've got one on there I can always click and drag with the control key held down and actually get copies of it that way as well. Each one of these again is a part number or is a, a device with a length and if you had a part number would add up into the bill of materials. So that's basically it for the hardware. You've got the DIN rails and the cableways and trunking. Um, just remember that if you're inserting objects such as squares or lines that when you insert the start point and you move your cursor you can hit space to define the offset. So for a square you can put in there 800 or 500 and that could represent perhaps the, uh, the base of that device. So that's it really for laying out the actual physical aspect. The next part of this would be to actually go into functions and pick list to pick the objects which we want to then insert into that.